What's going on, everybody? My name is Havu, and this is the Havu Moto Vlog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm currently back in Kalispell right now outside of the library, and I am going to use the Wi-Fi to upload this video and up update my phone and do a lot of things that I need Wi-Fi for. For the past week now, I have been in Glacier National Park where I got a job for the summer. So that was like my big news. Um, I got a job at Glacier National Park for the summer. I'm not actually working for National Park System. I'm working for Zantera, which is like hospitality management. They have a presence in a few national parks like um, Zion. I think they're at Grand Canyon, um, Yellowstone, um, a couple of the big ones. And they basically just run the lodges and like the concessions and the gift, st the gift stores and the camp stores. I'm working at the camp store in Rising Sun in Glacier National Park. That's on the east side of the park. So it's relatively remote. Um, the west side is pretty poppin'. It's like closer to Kalispell and Whitefish and, you know, all the towns and like, you know, a Walmart or a Target. Not to say that it's super close to those things, but it's much closer than to where I am on the east side of the park. So, for example, to get here back to Kalispell, I drove across the park on going to the Sun Road probably going against traffic, right? Most people start west and they go east and then they, they go back west. Um, so it's an advantage for me starting from the east, especially kind of like early in the morning. Um, nobody's really going that way towards the west, but I would never ever try in the summertime to go from west to east through the park. It would just be like asking to like blow your brains out, um, especially if you're just trying to get through the park, you know, not, not see the... Um, the sights, so to speak. I have I have a lot of time to do that, so I really don't want to contend with traffic and all the tourists. It's it's pretty crazy here in Glacier National Park in the summertime. It's like it's like worse than Disneyland, to be honest. Um, the camp store is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty chill. The days go by really slow. You know what I mean? But I'm standing. I'm on my feet. I get to move around a little, not too much. Um, but at least I'm standing and not sitting, and it's something to do. I have room and board for free. Um, and food is $10 a day from the cafeteria. I can get three meals if I want to, pretty much as much as I want to eat. And then they leave out like snacks and bagels and chips and like not fruit, not really. The bananas are pretty gross that they leave out. I really wish that they had like better fresh fruit options. That would be a pretty, pretty big game changer. But um, overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's not like the best quality food. Everything comes from Cisco. I don't know if you guys are aware. Cisco is like the mass food distributor. And... Um, a lot of the stuff comes from cans. There is some stuff that they make fresh, and God bless their hearts, like the, the back of the house crew, it's like a lot of them are like 20-year-old kids, you know what I mean? Washing dishes, like making huge trays of food to feed, you know, upwards of like whatever, like 50, 100 people. Um, and it's crazy. It's like a round-the-clock operation doing inventory, and um, it's just like it's not adults for the most part, you know what I mean? It's it's like kids and, and very young adults. Um, I'm 34 years old, and... I'm like up there. There's not that many people that are that are older than me there. Everybody thinks I'm young, so I try not to like bring up my age that much. And a couple times people have asked me how how old I am and I'm like I'm 34. I was born in 1988 and they're just like they think I'm like in my 20s. Um so it is um it's fun working with all these little kids. They're like at summer camp, you know, and I I feel like um I'm just like there with them. And um it's it's still fun. You know, you can still learn and you can still have fun and it's it's still quite the experience either way. So um, being in the park is actually quite amazing. And then on my days off, um, I will hike. Lots, lots, lots to see. I get two days off a week, pretty much. Um, so um, it's going to be an interesting summer. And I'm glad that it's kind of going by slow. The days that I work go by pretty slow. These eight-hour shifts, even when the camp store gets busy, I'm just like, I got to make it fun, you know, and just try to be like interacting with the customers, making jokes, um, making jokes at their expense sometimes with my coworkers. But um, overall, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The days do go by kind of slow, though, but it's nice, you know, like we're all kind of in it together, you know, like making fun of the guests and just living on this kind of compound and like eating in the cafeteria. It's almost like it's almost like being in college or being in jail, I would imagine. But the thing that keeps us all going is that sense that like we're all in this together. There's like a sense of unity. And when we go to the break room, like everyone understands that like whether you're a server in the dining room or you work at the camp store or you work housekeeping. Oh, my God, the housekeeping like those kids work extremely hard and they're just like cleaning up after people. Um, dirty rooms, and like dirty towels. It's just like, man, I like I wouldn't want to be doing that. And like it's literally like these little kids that are doing this. Um, some of them aren't even like not even 19 yet. 
So it's it's been fun. It's been real, I don't know, very humbling of an experience, I think. And I'm not making that much money, but there's a chance for me to stay in the park, have room and board for free, get to hike in the park, and learn a lot from the people who have been here and done this season after season. And there's a lot of guys that are just like experts with in terms of like their knowledge of the hiking trails, and I'll be hiking with them on my days off. Um, I kind of got it to line my days off with this guy that likes to hike like like big time hike, like, like 18, 20 miles a day, like no problem. And that's kind of like where I'm at. Um, so I'm, I'm super stoked today though, is, is my first time going back into town. So I'm going to knock out like Walmart and target. I'm probably going to go get some Vietnamese food. Uh, there are a couple of Vietnamese restaurants in Kalispell and I'm just kind of like jonesing for Vietnamese food. Um, I like the food, like I take a picture of all my meals that I eat. I kind of like video, like the, the buffet line when they bring out the food kind of like snobby coming from California like I'm used to very fresh very like you know like quality stuff you know what I mean like Whole Foods there's not a single Whole Foods in Montana and they give me a hard time about it like I'm from California like you know like blah 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 um a lot of these kids are like from the Midwest and stuff like that um Alabama like I always like make fun of their accents and stuff like that and the food like ah, it's not something that I would go for like a lot of nights I'm just like wow I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight, but I just got to eat, you know, like you'd rather starve or be a snob. You know what I mean? Um, And I am grateful when they put out like vegetables and stuff like that. Sometimes they even like if they put out vegetables, they'll deep fry them, which is like, you know, I try to stay away from too much vegetable oil and stuff like that. And like a lot of the Cisco stuff is just purely vegetable oil and like very processed stuff. Um, But like like I said, every now and then they'll do something fresh. They'll like make tamales or stuff like that. Um tamales yesterday I, just, I ate like six tamales before a hike um but they do put out greens every night which is good a lot of times it's just mixed greens sometimes they'll put out spinach so um i'm gonna have my friends from california actually send me some dressing that i like and that way that i can feel like not because like if if not um i don't even think they have olive oil or extra virgin olive oil to make like a nice vinaigrette and um it kind of beats the purpose for me if you're eating your greens and you're kind of like putting a vegetable oil based dressing on it. I don't just, it feels wrong to me. And I don't know if I can do that for like an entire, like whatever, like 60 days or how, however long I'm out here. So I'm having my friends send me a little care package, um, stuff that you generally just can't find in Montana. And it'll make things a little easier for me to kind of like, you know, have some compromise between like health, my health and my, my nutritional values. And, um, you know, like just eating in the cafeteria and not, not trying to be, not trying to be a snob about it, but, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the footage. I didn't get too much footage, but, um, like I said, the summer has just started for me. Um, I got here actually a little late in the season and I'm going till September 10th. Um, and at the rate this is going, I don't think it's going to fly by too fast. Um, like I said, like I work five days out of the week, eight, eight hour shifts in the camp store, we sell like firewood and like beer and like sandwiches and like it's actually a pretty cool little store a lot of gifts a lot of souvenirs it's a very modern looking store we have showers in the back um coin operated showers so overall it's a it's a pretty cool gig and I'm, i'm keeping myself happy you know i don't have i don't really have bad days especially like living in the park um just everyone's generally pretty happy and when we're not when the when there's like a line of customers um they're generally pretty pretty happy as well you know we don't really have incidents where people are like freaking out on us but just making fun of the the customers and the tourists as well it's like it keeps us going (laughs) um but anyways guys if you make it out to glacier national park make sure to go to the east side of the park and visit me at the rising sun campground just ask for how if i'm not there actually if i'm not there i'll be on the trail so i'll probably be just unavailable um but that's it guys i just wanted to update you it's kind of like oh wi-fi there's no Wi-Fi. You have to go to the EDR, the employee dining room, to get Wi-Fi. And the second you leave, it's gone. Um, so, like, all day at work, I don't have any service. I don't have any access. When I'm in my car or in my dorm, I don't have any access. I sleep in my car, actually, because the dorm is, like, gross, kind of. Um, it was built, like, over 100 years ago. And it's, like, it's already two dudes living there. And I would have to get the top bunk. And it's just, like, it's not the business. So, my car, my element is, like... A thousand times better as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, no service. Um, When you are in the employee dining room, you get Wi-Fi. But it is so slow. I can't... I'm not even... This video is going to get too long if I talk about how slow the Wi-Fi is. It's like only enough to send messages. If you add pictures and videos, it takes like 10 minutes. Um, And like things that 
you take for granted that you just open up and they load, they don't load anymore. Like emails don't load. Amazon doesn't load. Instagram doesn't load. Like it's like, like dial up. I don't know if any of you are like have experienced dial up, but it's, that's kind of like what it is. And sometimes it just doesn't load at all. And you just have to sit there waiting. But thankful, I guess, to be unplugged for a little bit. I think it's, you know, they could probably upgrade their internet, but maybe it's a conscious decision for them not to. They just want to give you just enough to keep in touch with your family members. But guys, that's it. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And as always, I wish you peace, health, and unlimited joy on your journey, wherever it may take you. Thank you so much. I will see you sometime. Um, not going to be posting as frequently, obviously, because this was like a two and a half hour drive for me just to get out here and do this. So um, I'll be getting footage, but um, probably maybe like one or two more times throughout the season, I'll, I'll be uploading. So thank you very much, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.